will be this video will be an introduction to compl computational complexity classes. Now, what exactly is a complexity class? Well, basically, a complexity class is how long or how much space it takes for a computer to perform a certain operation. Like, as basically like a function. It's like you know, the more imp the more you know, num the more so of something you have, the longer or more space it will take up on the computer. And you know how, and basically, the study of how to reduce the complexity to make uh, more efficient, more uh, fast algorithms and things like that. And so. Basically, there are a lot of complexity classes, but we're not going to cover all of them in this video. We have P, which is basically uh, all decision problems which can be solved by a deterministic Turing machine in polynomial time. Now, that may be a mouthful. It simply means this, a deterministic Turing machine, you know, yes or no input-output. It can be solved, I mean, well, something like that, and then it can be, and then it can be solved in uh, this many steps, where N is the, you know, the number, uh, it's like, N is the, uh, sort of like the base, like, you know, Basic and exponents, but um, and k is the number of uh, steps you're running. So if we have you know three, it'd be you no know, n n cubed or n to the fourth and things like and, th and things like that. You know polynomial and the amount of uh sp spaces you have. And um, n p is basically very similar to the p class, except it has um non-deterministic Turing machine and polynomial time. There also the randomized polynomial time, which is a little more advanced. We'll talk more about those later. And then we have f n p, which is like the uh um, it's basically n p uh, problems, but their functions. It's the function uh, analysis of the NP complexity class. And there's B time, deterministic time, and there's also exponential time, which is like, you know, way, like it takes like a very long time to solve. Like basically the function, the algorithm you have is very weak and very slow and very inefficient if it's, uh, if, it, if it's bounded in exponential time. And then we have also exponential space, and then which is like even larger, which is, you know, way out there. And then we have a uh, log space, which is basically, you know, logarithmic time. And so here I've written down uh, common, you know, uh, uh, bounds for complexity. You, you may be wondering what this big O means. Um, for simplest, for simplistic sake, we're just going to say on the order of is basically the, uh, the um, how the function behaves on a general basis. Like you can have a polynomial function, like you know, n squared plus three k plus four, something like that. But um, it's the, the it really becomes you know asymptotically or you know very quickly increases as um as uh, this and this and this does it's for polynomial time that's what the o in simplistic de definition means and so there is a uh, o n k a polynomial time there's also log n which you know the, the log complexity there's also o n log n there's also linear which is just n very very if you can get a linear algorithm that's very very efficient and then again n squared and then n uh, quadratic and then also n in q cubic um time you get basically um, they're 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 pretty efficient. There's some pretty efficient uh, complexities. I mean, they they you know they're they do the job and they're pre pretty fast. And um, so yeah, complexity is all about you know how how quickly problems can be solved by a computer. You know, can we reduce the time it takes or the space needed? I mean, there's space bounded computation. You know, how much you know we're dealing with space, and then the, which is how much you know how much memory is on the computer, and the time bounded computation. You know, how long is it going to take for it to perform a certain action? And so that is a general introduction to complexity classes. You know, hope you guys enjoy. We'll talk more about them and some other um, aspects of it in the upcoming videos. Uh, see you guys later.